You say in your book that there was a teacher when you were in the second grade that had an impact on you. Do you remember it? I'll never forget. She walked in the room one day and said, God so loved the earth that he put the earth just right from the sun. Not too close, because the oceans will boil. Not too far, because the oceans will freeze, but just right from the sun. Now, I was floored. I mean, I was in second grade. And here was a scientific principle with a religious interpretation. I said to myself, my God, that's right. If we were too close, the oceans would boil. If we were too far, the oceans would freeze. We are in the so-called Goldilocks zone of the sun. Now, of course, we have seen 4,000 planets orbiting other stars, and almost all of them are too close or too far from the sun. So you have two points of view. Either God exists, and God so loves the earth that he puts the earth just right from the sun, or we have a crapshoot. What do you think? Well, now that we have found so many planets, 4,000 of them, we think that in the galaxy, our own backyard, there are billions upon billions of planets. On average, every single star you see at night has a planet going around it. Every single star on average. That it's indisputable that most of them are outside the Goldilocks zone. So you can still believe in God, but that's not an argument that clinches the deal.